if you're having issues with your Fire Stick remote not working with your Fire Stick, here are four simple fixes that will get it working again. So let's go and check them out. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. The first step is the most obvious. If there are no lights on your remote when you press any of the buttons, it could be that the batteries are dead or not put in the right way, or there's damage to the connectors. Flip your remote over and slide the back off. Take the batteries out and check the terminals for dust, rust or corrosion. If you see any residue, grab a flat-headed screwdriver and gently scrape it off. Wipe with a dry cloth and replace the batteries. Replace with new ones if necessary. Next to try is a reset of the Fire Stick remote. Now don't worry, this will only reset the remote and not your Fire Stick. The following steps need to be carried out correctly. If you need to, just remember to pause the video after each step so that you can follow along. You can do that by unplugging your Fire Stick and waiting 60 seconds for the power to drain from your Fire Stick completely. Next, press and hold the left button, menu button and back button all at the same time. Hold them for 12 seconds, then release and wait 5 seconds. Then flip your remote over and remove the batteries. Next, plug your Fire Stick back in and wait 60 seconds. Then put the batteries back in your remote. Next, press the home button on the remote and wait for the LED indicator to blink blue. Your remote should now be paired successfully. For a more detailed breakdown of these steps, check out my website firetvsticks.com forward slash broken fire stick remote. The next step is something that most people don't think about trying, but is the most simple solution. Pick up your TV remote while your Fire Stick is turned on and check if your TV remote works with your Fire Stick. Newer LG TVs, for example, will be able to do this, along with other models of newer smart TVs. This works by utilising the HDMI CEC function and allows devices connected to your TV's HDMI ports to communicate with the TV remote. The HDMI CEC option is usually already turned on as a default, but you can go into your TV's menu, options or settings to manually check and turn this feature on. Some TVs may have called this function something other than HDMI CEC, such as Simplink, Net Command or EasyLink. If you can't find this option, do a web search for the model of your TV and how to enable HDMI CEC. Next, try this if nothing else has worked so far to get your remote working again. Now, Amazon has an official app for Android and iOS smartphones called Amazon Fire TV. Download it from your app store and it will search for and connect to Fire TV devices that are on the same network as your phone. Next, select your Fire Stick in the Amazon Fire TV app and connect to it following the instructions on screen. You can then use the app to control your Fire Stick, navigate around it, and even use your phone's keyboard to input text, which is even easier and more convenient than using your Fire Stick remote. 
if absolutely none of these tips have helped to get your Fire Stick remote working again, then you could try contacting Amazon. Amazon devices are sold with a one year manufacturing warranty. So if your remote becomes faulty within the first year, they should replace it for free. If you try this, let me know in the comments below if you manage to get a replacement for free. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.